What's up guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today we are starting a journey to 1 million coins in 10 days, and I want you guys to come with me. We're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you everything basically on how to get a million coins, hopefully more, not going to lie, we are aiming for more than a million, but yeah, a minimum of a million coins in 10 days, and this is day one, first video, and I'm going to like just give you a complete guide on how to do it, so make sure you're ready guys, and let's go and make a million coins, so Let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to need, you're going to need 10 accounts, 10 accounts on your Xbox, on your PlayStation, you're going to need 10 accounts. Obviously, I only use 9 accounts as in I keep my first account as a, my Road to Glory account kind of thing, so I'm not going to touch that at all. That's going to be my main account, and then I'm going to have 9 other accounts to do this, which we call multi-accounting. Before we get any further into the video, guys, I'm going to be dropping tips and stuff like that on Twitter and maybe going through it and showing polls and all that kind of stuff. So follow me on there, link in the description. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it as well. It helps the channel out a lot, guys. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is get your 10 accounts. That's super important. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is obviously grind some coins on the account. So what I want to talk about first, as in the first point, is how to grind some coins. Now, there's many ways to grind coins when you first go into an account. And obviously the first one is the daily objectives, the starter objectives, and maybe possibly the weekly objectives. Now there's always easy coins to be made here. Score for Brazil, uh, twice the finesse, you know, just little things like that. These ones are easy as well. Play a match, buy a player is always a great one. Little things like that. And you just, you know, you're going to need a little bit of coins just to get yourself off the mark. That's one way. If you have points on the account, of course, then you can go to the catalogue. You can buy yourself the 99 contracts, things like that. It's, you know, you can then quick sell them or even sell them usually for maybe 200, 300 coins a piece. Another very easy way of making coins at the start of the game. Then there's obviously, once you have two, 300 coins, bin sniping, the best way in my opinion, to get up to a decent amount of coins so you can instantly get into the SBCs, so on and so forth, and get started. So you can see I've already got 17k on this account because I did have some starter packs from last year. Because this is a, the second year I've been using this account. Or maybe even third year. So I've actually got some decent stuff. I did some bronze pack method. That was the other one. Bronze pack method is also a good way of making coins. Uh, and I did a bit of bronze pack method on this account. As you can see there's some of the stuff I've sold. I'm up to 17k. I have enough to start the SBCs and stuff like that. So yeah. Those are the three things. Use the catalog. Use the daily, weekly and starter objectives. And then use bronze pack method over the accounts to get all the accounts up to around 10k each so that's nine accounts you can have one as your main account you don't even need to do this on your main account we have nine accounts and we want to get them up to around 10k each so once we've done that as you can see you, you can do that any questions of course leave them down in the comment section i will answer them and try and help you guys out as much as possible but once you have done that it's time to do some sbcs now you're always going to have to do this first one because we're locked it's so easy, it's bronzes, so I'm going to get that done right now. So that is that starter SBC done. You have to do that to unlock the other SBCs. We can't avoid it. So obviously you're going to want to go and do that on all 10 accounts when you're on them kind of thing. So that's done and we've opened up the SBCs now. Before we get into the three that we're going to be doing that make us the coins, which is the Hybrid Nations, Hybrid uh, League of Nations Hybrid and Hybrid Leagues, we're going to want to go and... Do one more thing first, and that is the let's move forward. And the reason we want to do this one is because it gives us player pick packs. We get a chance of four players out of this, and we can uh, we can cherry pick them for SBCs. So I'm going to go ahead and do these ones now so you can see exactly what I mean by this. And we'll go ahead and open those player pick packs and hopefully get some good players to bring down the prices of the SBCs going forward. So these are well easy to do as well. All you need is bronze players, basically. So you got bronze... And you look for three of the same nation. I think you can do it like this anyway. So we'll put three in here like this. One, we'll put a striker in there. We've already up to 13 and we'll put a right back. Super easy. Three English ones gets that one done. The next one we're going to do is the midfielders. Again, it's just three bronze players. So you don't even need the active position in really. Just go bronze. You see we've got two Koreans there. And I think just anyone will work as the third one. Job done. And then we go to the striker. So these are so worth doing because you can literally use anyone to do them. And we go bronze and we're going to go for someone of the same nation. We have two Englishmen there. And I think anyone will work now. So we'll try this centre mid just to be cheeky. 
and we'll put him in there we'll move him to there and him to there and we are done so we get ourselves four player pick packs there just from doing that so easy you want to do that at the start of every account to get yourself that little boost save yourself a little bit of coins so let's go and have a look now and like i'm going to try and hopefully show you a decent player to pick kind of thing to do this now this Sim simone guy is a decent player for starters like he's argentine abroad um this but brochure dortmund striker is decent he's obviously spanish abroad they're both not bad at all and this leo baptista dio isn't bad as well because he is Brazilian abroad what you don't want to go for is an Englishman from the Premier League stuff like that make it a lot tougher And they're always cheap on the market anyway on this occasion. I think I'm gonna go for The first one here. I think he's gonna be my choice and we're gonna put him in next up for the midfielders I believe yeah center mids. We're gonna go for This occasion I'm gonna go for the Netherlands abroad Van Ginkel and pick him up uh, next up, we have the centre-back, maximum 80 overall. And we are going to go for... Let me have a look. Who do I think is best here? I'm going to go Ginter because I know we use Bundesliga a lot. And he's 80 rated as well, which is decent. Quite nice ratings on those ones. And last but not least, goalkeeper. And there are some expensive goalkeepers. Maybe we can get one here. I'm not sure we have. We might go for the Bundes again here. He's 79 rated. And I know we use the Bundesliga for one of the starter SPCs or like a load of the starter SPCs. So I'm going to go for him again. So that's four free players basically straight off the bat. And it's going to save you a bit of coins. No brainer. So after doing that now, we're all set to start making some coins. And this is where we want to be. So if you're thinking of doing this, you need to grind yourself up to 10, 15k. And obviously you need to do those starter SPCs that I've just done there. And then you are ready to go to start making yourself big coins. Obviously, it might take some time to bin snipe and make the 10k. That's the way it is. This is a grind to make a million coins in 10 days. But it's so, so doable, as you're going to see over the next 10 days. And so, yeah, we're going to start doing the other SBCs now. Hybrid Leagues, Hybrid Nations, Hybrid League and Nations. Um, League and Nations hybrids, even. Because these are the ones that are going to earn us some big stuff. So, we're going to start with hybrid nations is where we're going to be starting this is the easiest one to start with you have four spcs here i'm going to be showing you how to do these spcs not exactly because each account is different sometimes you might have loyalty sometimes you don't but i'm going to give be giving you an idea of how to do all these spcs in this video and because we're going to be hopefully doing multiple sets today in this video anyway i'm going to go ahead and do these now on this account as you can see and I'll be right back. So I've been grinding through them and we have done the first three with the 17,000 coins. That's right, 17,000 coins is all it's taken me. Actually about 16,000 to do the first three. We haven't done National Pride, as you can see it has been started. I've opened it up, nothing done in there. Quads, let's have a look. This is how I've managed to do it, super, super cheap. You want to follow the pattern, not exactly the same. There's so many, you don't have to follow these exact players, guys. You want to go ahead and find your own way. Otherwise, players will get expensive depending on how much people watch videos like this. So you want to go ahead and just get cheap players from big leagues from the actual league they're in. And that is the way you do it. For that one, we get a premium gold players pack, which I believe is a 25k pack. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and submit that for starters. Next up, we have the six. And this is how we've done it. Again, super cheap using players from the leagues that they're actually from. And that is the cheapest way of doing it. Again... You don't need to follow the exact way and we get a premium gold pack, 7.5k pack, not very good at all, but we'll take it. And for the third one, we get ourselves a really nice pack. We get a prime gold players pack and this is how we did it again using the Bundesliga players there. Super cheap from the Bundesliga this one, so probably a decent one for you guys to go ahead and do as well. You can do it from any league as long as you like you can from the every player from one league. But for me, I think Bundes is probably one of the best. Maybe the... Um, Portuguese league will be decent from this one as well. Let's go ahead and submit that prime gold players pack. So that's our first three packs. So we can't do another one because we don't have the coins. So once you do something like this or get to this point, you're going to obviously go ahead and open them up. And this is the fun part, guys. This is what I love so much about doing multi accounting is we then get to see some sick packs. So we're going to hope for a bit of luck here. We're going to open the premium gold players pack first and see what we get. Obviously, on these accounts, we're going to be selling absolutely everything. We do not even get a rare card. We get a non-rare 81 Matip to start us off. Smiley. Uh, probably going to get an inform in a couple of days, Matip, to be honest. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and sell. We're selling everything. 
So those three players, quick sell the consumables in my opinion. We might try and sell that league and we're going to just quick sell the rest of that. So we'll put the rest of that down there and we get 300 coins back. Not a good start guys, but that's the way it is. Premium gold players pack. So this is a 25k pack. So we're really going to be hoping for something a little bit better out of these. Can we get a board out at least? We don't get a board out. We get a centre mid and it is going to be cork. So that's not good really as well. And in the rest of this pack, we just... Oh, yeah, we got a lot of players. So we're going to go and he head and sell all these players. Unless we might use some of them for the next SPC. Who knows? We're going to put them up on the transfer list. And we have one pack left, which is the prime pack. This is the big one. This is the big one. So let's go ahead and open it and see if we can get ourselves at least a board out in the big pack. What do we get? We don't get the 86 plus. We do get a board out. It is a board out. We have German... Centre mid is going to be Kadira, guys. 85 rated Kadira as our first decent pull of multi account. And we still have the big packs to come, the biggest packs to come. Two massive packs. This is going to make, uh, like push us over the line to be able to afford the two massive packs. And then after this set, we'll have a look to see if we do have more than the... What was it we had? More than the 17k that we started with. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off that last one now. And I'll be right back. So guys, we have sold everything from the first three packs that we did from the first SPC. Just going to show you guys what they sold for now. 4.6 was the highlight with uh, Kadira. We didn't really have much else in value here. Nothing at all really. Just scroll through so you guys can literally see that these guys are worth nothing. So a lot of them for 350. And these guys are just going to have to get quick sold after this. Because they're not even going for 400. Another couple of K there. We still have 8K left, but we have we did get up to around 16, 17K. But we have gone and bought the last one for the big pack. So we're going to get the, our first set of big packs here. And that will be the Hybrid Nations, big packs, National Pride. And for this one, we get a mega pack. And we also then get a rare mega pack for the lot. And this is how I did this one again. Always super cheap. Bundesliga is a good one for these. you got to do a bit of bin sniping. I do need to change the fullbacks here just to finish this off as I see now. I did bin snipe both these items. Uh, they're about a cage, these position changes, but I managed to bin snipe them both for 500 or less. I don't need to do this one. Oh, okay, sweet. I can actually save that one. Thank you very much, Joe. But we get that one sorted anyway. And let's go and submit that, get ourselves a mega pack. And on top of that, get ourselves a rare mega pack, which is the real big boy. And let's see, like, these are massive amounts of items coming our way now. We... We're going to make some coins off these, surely. We're like, we, I can already see we're going to make a nice, cheeky little profit here uh, to get us going because it, it, we cannot fail. Let's get rid of them so we've got some space here anyway, guys. We do have just four items there now. We also have the two packs, and we're going to have a look what we get in the Mega Pack first. Let's get into it. We're looking for that big shine. We're looking for that shine at the bottom. Give us something special. It's not going to be that. Can we get the at least board outs? We do get the board outs. I'll take it. We're going to get ourselves... Oh, I don't know who it's going to be. It's going to be Chesney, 84 rated Chesney. I'll take that. Not the best card in the world. What I like about Mega Packs is you get so much consumables. Obviously, a lot of players, and it all works out well in the end. I don't know what he's going for. I'm going to have a little look here, guys. So we're going to get a few K up in about 3K. Go ahead and put all these players, for starters, on our transfer list. And then we'll probably keep hold of the consumables. Oh, another thing I did want to mention was the contract. I quick sold it. The contracts in the first pack, you actually need the contracts for loyalty glitch at a later date. So you want to make sure you're keeping hold of the contracts because you're going to need to add them. Look at these squad fitnesses. One, two, three, four, five. We got five squad fitnesses, which is insane. And I'm sure this is worth a fair bit as well. I'm going to put that up there now, actually, as half the pack. We'll keep that. We will quick sell. Oh, no. Stamford Bridge will sell. We'll keep hold of that. Artist, we will try to sell. We'll keep in the club. Alec Galaxy can go. And we want to keep the rest of that. That's a really nice pack. So we're going to keep that in. I know it's not so nice as in the big player, but consumables and stuff, solid. We'll probably make about 10 to 15k off that. And this is the big one. Come on. Let's see that 86 plus. Yes. Come on, baby. Let's go. We get that 86 plus. What is it going to be? It's not going to be an inform. It's Spanish centre mid. It is Tiago. 86 Tiago. I don't know what he's going for. I assume he's not going to be too much, but we do get the walkout to start us off straight away, boys, on the multi-account in it. First set of SBCs, and let's see if there's anything else behind him. Decent, boys, decent. I'm very happy with that. And Ooh, we get ourselves an inform in there, as well as Laramendi 
And yeah, that's it, guys. I've not seen anyone else super expensive there. Let's go and have a little look on how much Thiago is. We are going to get maybe around 20k for Thiago, maybe around 15 there. Obviously, we're going to get around 10k for this guy, which is pretty sick. And there's a few decent cards in there as well. So go ahead and put all our players up on the transfer list and work through this pack. And then we're on to the next one, guys. It's just as easy as that. And you just we're going to continue to do this for the next 10 days and really just hopefully make some really, really nice coins. And like I said, up to a million, million coins over the 10 days overall. Anything else you want to quick sell here? I'm going to quick sell that and that. And other than that, it's all good stuff. So we quick sell that stuff and there we go. So again, I'll be back in a bit. What you'll be seeing next on the next set will be, I will be building as much of the SPCs as possible. And that includes League of Nation hybrids and hybrid leagues. I'll be building as much of them as possible with the coins I get from selling all this stuff. I'll show you everything I sell if I can. A lot of the stuff probably won't be in there bits and bobs because I've got more than 30 items to sell now, just the way it is. And yeah, so I'll show you the highlights of the best stuff that sell, and then I'll be building these, and we'll be opening more packs right now, basically. So, we're back again. As you can probably see now, the lighting is changing here, because it's changed from day to night since the last time I, um, you know, did the next four SPCs, basically. And this is what we sold from the batch that you just seen. We got 15k for Thiago, and a few just 1k's. Herrera was quite nice at 5k, very good indeed. And we got 2.3 for, what's his face there, Van Arnold. And that's it really, it was just nothing too much to get excited about in there. But we definitely made our coins back, we're on 27k at the moment. We did get up to 50k and we're back down to 23, uh, 27 now, so it cost us 23k to do the next set of SBCs, which I'm going to go and show you right now. Hopefully I don't use any players twice, so that would be irritating. And um, we're doing the hybrid leagues next. So for this one we get ourselves a jumbo gold pack, jumbo premium gold pack. Prime gold players and a mega pack. So let's go ahead and submit them. I'd let you guys have a look at how we did them here. Very easy to do. These ones I was just using the stuff in my club more than anything. Trying to make use of what we already had. That one gets us... Uh, yeah, we've already went gone through the packs. Oh, there you go. See, we've already used a left mid, uh, left wing here. Or in the last one, obviously. So we'll go ahead and look for a nationality Argentine left wing. And I'll be right back. So that's that one sorted. We get ourselves a premium gold pack for that one. Jumbo premium gold pack even. And that leaves us with two more to do. The Prime 9, which is the Prime pack. And we have another man missing. I hope this one isn't needed for loyalty. Or oh, that would suck. There's that one sorted for us. Lucas is really cheap. You're probably looking at him. He's 1.1k and also 1.1k for the centre back. So don't worry about using those 83 rateds because they are really low right now. You might as well take advantage of them to get that. 79 squad rating so we'll go ahead and submit that one and get ourselves the prime players pack and we have one more left to do which is the squad goal so this is what this one looks like don't do this one guys it's a, a little bit too expensive i did it because i had a few players in my club basically one which was knockout who has loyalty you need one loyalty on this one to get 100 chem and i did not want to do the loyalty glitch so i did it this way and i did end up paying a lot of money for this fullback here which is about 4k uh, so yeah, it's not the best way to do it, so you might want to try something else. Use what you've got in your club. If you have two or three from one nation, always a good place to start. And we get a mega pack for that, so we'll go ahead and submit that one. And by submitting that, we complete the set and we get ourselves the rare mega pack for the hybrid leagues. And we have five nice packs to go ahead and open now. So we're really hoping for something to boost us on our way towards our first 100k, on our way towards our first 1 mil here. And yeah, this is where the luck is needed. So we're going to start off with a jumbo gold pack, which is the worst of the lot, I believe. Three reds in this one. Can we start off strong? We do get ourselves a rare. It's going to be a Brazilian centre back, and it is going to be Michael. He doesn't look half bad at all, to be honest with you. Might keep hold of him for now, maybe for some SBCs. Go ahead and we'll put them on the transfer list for now, though. And we'll see where we go later on. That'll do, and... All right, pack number two, which is a gold, uh, jumbo premium gold pack. Seven rares in this one. Let's see what we get. Do we get a gold rare? You'd hope so. Uh, it's not a board out, guys. It's going to be a poor card. This guy's worth under a K. I packed him once before. Not very good indeed. Okay, guys, we're kind of on to the big boys now. I'm going to start with the mega. We'll go for the prime, and then we'll hit the rare mega. Surely now we're going to start getting better players. We need some big ones here, guys. Board out, hopefully. This got to be our first board out, surely. We don't even get a board out. It's the same guy. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be centre-back Nkulu. 
Uh, not a great pack at all. That's actually a bad, bad pack. Hopefully, there's some good consumables in here, if nothing else. Because that, oh, a lot of players. I'll take that. That ain't so, too bad at all. I think we probably end up keeping these players in the club because we do still have two packs to go and not that much space. So all these will be kept and sold. Reflexes can go. Right wing to right forward will definitely be sold. A few more of them. That can go, that can go, and that can go. All right, so that was a pretty poor pack. A lot of players in there, which is nice, but nothing really good at all. Two to go, Prime, and then the Rare Mega. We need at least 186 here, really. That's what we're chasing. We don't get it in this one. Can we get our first border? We can get our first border. What's it going to be, guys? I don't know if there's anyone good, really, from the Portuguese board outs this year. And obviously, Pizzy is going to be really low valued, I'd imagine. And that leaves us needing something out of our last one. So we do get, obviously, a lot of cards in there that are just going to just chuck them in the clip. Probably get around 5 to 10k back from that. Maybe a little bit more. Who knows? This is our last chance, guys. Last chance on this set of four. Can we get something good? We do not get the board out, guys, which kind of sucks. Not the board out. Uh, the 86 plus It's not going to be the same guy. It's going to be worse, probably. It's going to be Rui Patricio. And that's a rough set, isn't it, guys? To be honest, that is a rough set of packs. Ooh, a player pick. 70 to 80. That's quite cool. Don't really get much of these, but an inform would be nice. There were 10k. We will have... I think we'll go for Raphael. So we'll take Raphael there. That's cool. That's the first player pick we've ever had. We do get ourselves a lot of players there. We'll quick sell that guy. We'll quick sell her. Keep the contracts for now, because we will need them for loyalty on the next set. A lot of decent stuff there that will sell and a lot of not so decent stuff at the end. Go ahead and quick sell the rest of that and keep the rest. And that is another set of four, guys. That was terrible, to be honest. We do have 28k plus probably we'll get around back up to around 50k over what we had there. So we have 50k so far to go into our last set, which has the 50k pack. So wish us luck. Let's see if we can get some good in this last set. So, we're into the last one, which is the League of Nations Hybrid. We have loads of stuff already selling on our transfer list, and we're going to go ahead and open up the League of Nations Hybrid one now. We're going to do this because we want to submit a couple of these now, basically. So, we're going to go and submit the first one. This is how we did it. No loyalty required or anything like that. We get a premium gold players pack for that, so we'll go ahead and submit it. And the next one we're going to submit now is the intermediate. We need to use some of these players again. That's why we're doing two of them at a time. So you guys can see how they're doing and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and submit that one as well. And we get ourselves, I think, a rare gold pack. It's a rare gold pack. So we get a 25k pack, all rare. And that is those two done. We don't really have any space on our transfer list here. So this could be a little bit silly to open in these now. But we're going to do it anyway because we want to see the packs. Uh, we'll start with the premium gold players pack. Let's see if we can pack anything good out of these two. And then we have two more big packs to come. And that'll be the first account done and we'll be just looking to sell on in the end then. We do get ourselves an English goalkeeper. It's going to be Jordan Pickford. I doubt he goes for very much at all. Let's see if there's anything else in the pack. And the rest of the pack contains nothing to write home about, guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put all this in the club for now. And we will definitely just quick sell this guy. He doesn't look like he's worth anything to me. And we have one more to go. This is the rare gold pack. And then we'll be moving on to our last two SBCs for this account. And then that will be us done. We obviously get some rare players. We are getting another board out. We get ourselves, I don't know who this is. Oh, it's um, uh, Savic. Yeah, so we get the 83 rated Savic from Atletico Madrid. And do we get anything else in here with him? We do not get anything else in here with him. No duplicates though. So we'll go and chuck those two in the, uh, this lot in the club for now. And head over to our last two SBCs, which gives us a 50k pack. And something like a mega pack or something like that as our last two packs. And then we sell everything. And I think if this account doesn't give us anything in the last two packs, we may only come out of this one with around 50 to 70k. So it'll be a pretty rough account. And we'll have plenty to make up over the coming days. So the loyalty glitch is out of the way, guys. If you want to see what the loyalty glitch is, just go and check it out on my channel as well. I've done a video if you don't want to take a loss on your record. But basically, you can just quit the games when you're doing multi-account. And you don't really need to worry about that at all. And we're going to show. I'm going to show you tough, and this is how we did tough. And for that, we get a mega pack, uh, relatively easy. You do need loyalty. You need to keep that in mind with these. You are going to have to do the loyalty glitch. We'll go ahead and submit that, 
and we have the hybrid master this is the last one we're going to be doing today and we haven't put it in yet so be right back and this is how i managed to do this one you do need loyalty again this is not cheap as around the 15k mark but you know you get a 50k for doing this one and also when we submit this we also get a 12k injection so we're already up to 30k we have two big packs to come and that is that so just so you know as we move forward, I will no longer be showing you how to do these. I will just be submitting them and showing you the packs we get from them. So if you want to go ahead and do them, you'll have to come and check the first episode if you want to use my solutions or the solutions I chose to use there. And just so you know, guys, so it'll be more just packs and hopefully we'll be getting through two or three accounts uh, from tomorrow onwards and so on and so forth. And let's go ahead and open up our last two. We have 30k already. I'm thinking we're going to hit more towards the 80k mark on this now. I'm feeling a bit better. Please let us get one 86 plus and I'll be happy probably. So this is the mega pack to start us off. We don't get a 86 plus. We do get a board out and it is going to be a strike. I have no idea. Oh, it's going to be Manzukic, guys. 84 in Manzukic is a little bit tragic. Do we have anything behind him? Let's have a look. This is the mega pack. We do not have anything behind him, to be honest. This is trash bags. We're going to go... Oh, yeah, let's put all these players up on the transfer list, though, because we literally do not... We're going to have to sell everything on this club, basically, is what I'm saying. After this, everything will be going. I'll be doing that off-camera, and at tomorrow's episode, I will open up showing you exactly what we made on this account, if you've made it that's this far into this video. Ooh, a cheeky little hunter. That ain't bad at all. I don't know what they're going for, but that's going to be a few... Bob there for sure, Manchester City kit, we'll try and sell that, and we'll go ahead and quick sell the rest of that in my opinion, that's going to be trash bags, and this is the one, this is the 50k pack, this is going to be the difference between around 80k, or oh, hopefully, touch wood, we get over 100k on our first account, 10% of the way there, can we get the shine guys, we don't boys, we don't, do we get a walkout, it's not even a walkout, there we go, we're ending on, oh man, <laughs> skill guys, Lovely do these days. He's uh, got growing a nice barn out there in Turkey and he's looking absolutely sharp. So that is episode one done anyway. They're all the SBCs done for you guys. Go and get started yourselves. Catch up on day one. Get an account done. Get the, uh, all the uh, coins ready and stuff like that. We'll put Triori up there. And we will be back tomorrow, late tomorrow, for a round two of this. And we will hopefully have about two or three accounts for you because we've got it all set up now after a long day today of setting it up so that we can absolutely fly through these. Probably going to get about 100, uh, sorry, about 80k of this account. Check back tomorrow to see exactly how much we get off it. And we will see you tomorrow for episode 2 of How to Make a Million Coins in 10 days. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching as always and take it easy. I wish to stay.